Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Brian for GumballTech.com and in this video I'm going to give you a complete overview of iPhone OS 4.0. Now please keep in mind that this is the very first beta of 4.0 and it's pretty buggy and it's fairly slow. So uh, here's my home screen. You may be wondering why there isn't a wallpaper. Well, that's because the home screen wallpaper feature is something that's only available on the iPhone 3GS and the new iPod Touch 3rd generation. If you're on an iPhone 3G like me or the second generation iPod Touch, then you're pretty much out of luck. So if you are on the 3G or the second gen Touch, then you won't be able to do backgrounding either. So uh, first I'll go through the settings. <coughs> Excuse me. So here's the settings. Everything is pretty much the same so far. Uh, for sounds, you have the same old stuff. Brightness is the same. Wallpaper just goes to my wallpaper selection or my camera roll. Let me go to the lock screen really quick because here's the, I guess this is going to be the default wallpaper for 4.0. It looks like it was raining outside and they took a picture of their window. Uh, general about let me go down to the version I'll just leave it there so you don't see my serial number 4.0 the current build number is 8A 230M the carrier look the carrier profile for AT&T was updated from 5.6 to 6.0 and the baseband was also updated from 05.12.01 to 05.13.03 usage same stuff you still don't get the native battery percentage if you're not on a 3GS. Here's your network information. Nothing special, nothing special here either. Location services is a little bit different because for each application you could turn location on or off. And then if it is on in the status bar you'll see this little arrow. Home button. I believe it's the same. In beta 1, the iPod controls do not work. If I push the home button twice while my music is playing, it's just going to go straight to the iPod app. Auto lock, same stuff. Passcode lock, sort of different. Here you can see that the blue on is sort of overlapping the off, so restrictions does that pretty, you know, badly, I guess. Uh, date and time is the same. Keyboard is a little bit different when you're adding new keyboards just a little bit because everything is centered into the in the uh, in the list international nothing to worry about there mail well in 4.0 you do have your unified inbox which I'm getting used to at first I didn't really like it because I like everything to be separated but it's alright you could also organize your emails by thread so if you have more multiple emails of the same subject you could combine them into one little uh, thing phone I'll have to block that out Safari you could there's a couple different autofill uh, options here fraud warning same old stuff pretty much uh, messages you do get a character counter this time so that's pretty cool so when you're sending a message you could have the number of characters to um, see what you got iPod you have an option for lyrics and podcast info which is good because some of my songs have lyrics for some reason and I don't really like that because I like to see the album art not the words um, that's about it for settings so first I'll go to messages it is sort of slow because messages usually doesn't take this long at all to turn on <clears throat> Safari is also really slow. Oh, messages. You could actually search through your text messages if you'd like. Uh, so let me show you the character counter. Everything else in messages is the same. Just type some stuff. Here's the character counter right there. Uh, let me also show you spell check while I'm here. Just type something wrong. So if you type something wrong, it's going to underline itself in red. And then if you want to go back to see what possible corrections the OS has, you can just backspace once, and it should give you a list of potential replacements. Now, since this is an impossible word, it's, it's not going to find any replacements. But that's pretty much what spell check works like on OS 4.0. <clears throat> so uh, calendar, that's pretty much the same. Photos is a little bit different because you do have 
Um, you do have options for faces and events from iPhoto, so that's pretty cool. Camera is also a little bit different because you do get digital zoom with OS 4.0. So you just tap on the uh, picture here and then you just slide the slider around. It does a pretty good job. It's not too bad. Um, it does a decent job. This is also on a 3G and I didn't think that this would work on my 3G. Stocks is the same. Maps is a little bit different actually because on 3.0 or 3.x whatever when you're loading or when the app loads the map tiles it will just bring them up but on maps on 4.0 it will fade them in similar to the way it works on the iPad weather is the same calculator the app is exactly the same but the icon looks a lot better now we already went through settings iTunes and the app store is exactly the same game center is new it's pretty much Apple's version of open faint game loft live plus plus things like that it's their own gaming social network uh, the way it is now all you could do is add friends and that sort of thing um, so there isn't really much to show there you do get push notifications with that app but they're just badges for now and you're you get notified if you have any new friend requests uh, phone is the same uh, we'll go through Safari really quick because there's a little bit of changes So when you go to your address bar and you're typing in the address of a site you've already been to, it will show up with the URL and the title of the page. And if you're doing a search, you could start typing in some stuff and it will give you search recommendations. Here you go. These are from Google. I don't know if they work on Yahoo or not, but <laughs> some interesting uh, suggestions when you search for test. That's pretty much the only differences in Safari right now in beta 1. Mail, let me show you mail really quick. Alright, so here's your uh, new main mail page. You could go through all of your inboxes or inboxes for certain mailboxes. And then you could also go scroll through your normal accounts like normal. So that's pretty much it with, with mail. iPod and phone are the same, or right now they're the same, so there's nothing to really show. Also in 4.0 you do get folders where you can put your applications into folders as you see here. You could put I think nine folders or nine icons, maybe eight, I'm not sure. But it's pretty easy. You just tap and hold on one and then drag it onto another icon directly over it and it will make you a new folder. And then it, you could add, you could change the name of it too. It will also figure out the sort of app that you're putting into the folder and it will give you the type right there. So we will drag App Store out and stick it back where it was. Just like that. So let me tap and hold on one of my current folders. Just tap on it. Then from there you could drag icons out, move them around, or you could just delete them from your device altogether. Pushing the home button will stop the wiggle mode. Pushing the home button again will put the folder away. You could also tap anywhere out of the folder to make it disappear. We do have a couple other apps I didn't go to. Notes, the icon is a little bit different, but I think the app itself works exactly the same. Yeah, pretty much the exact same. Notes application, YouTube I believe is the same. I haven't checked that yet. Voice memos, clocks, and contacts are exactly the same. So that's pretty much the only differences versus 4.0 and 3.1.3 or whatever the latest is. So that's about it with this video. Follow me on Twitter if you want to be notified of more iPhone OS 4.0 updates. Twitter.com slash bsuite. Also visit us on the web for other um, OS 4.0 related topics. Gumballtech.com. That's about it for this video. We'll see you soon.